right now I'm showing you how to do the proper lane change so now I'm going straight the key is to make sure that I'm up to the speed what's the speed limit here it's 50 so now I am going to reach my speed I almost there as you can see and I'm gonna put the signal left and I'm gonna look at my rear view mirror and I see nobody's there I look over my shoulder and I can safely change the lane so the key speed rear view mirror shoulder check you don't need to use the side mirror it's gonna it's not gonna help you as you're looking what's going on behind you and what is in your blind spot that's called a blind spot so for example I'm gonna make a change the lane to the right so you see guys I'm slowing down a little bit because the traffic is there I look over my rearview mirror I look over my shoulder and now I can safely without stress change the lane I want to mention something I have a lot of people when they changing the lane instead of gradually and be relaxed on the steering look at my hands guys again pay attention on the hands position what they do let's say I'm gonna be nervous and I'm gonna be trying to change the lane but nobody's letting me go so I'm gonna do this I'm gonna put the signal now again I'm relaxed on my hands I'm looking over my shoulder and I see that that car slows down for me I can easily change the lane but I saw that car was in my rear view mirror if I see him on my blind spot I don't have to look again people looking looking look you don't you know that the car is existing there so you don't have to look twice so as you can see guys I'm going to change the lane now to the left what's my steps signal rear view mirror shoulder check safely change the lane I'm gonna make a right lane change signal rear view mirror shoulder check change the lane and the key is to maintain the speed i check left and right on each intersection to make sure that it's safe i'm gonna change the lane to the right signal shoulder check area it's clear i can proceed safely So right now, we're driving at zone 40, as you can see. Now, it's a little bit downhill. Make sure that you're paying attention on your speed because it's very easy in this car or any other car that you will buy to pick up the speed and go over the speed limit in no time. So as you can see now in my speedometer, I'm going at 40 kilometers, exactly the way it's supposed to be. I'm approaching the traffic light on the traffic light the traffic light changed so what do I do first step I just ease on the gas so I'm letting the car roll to the stop sign instead of go fast and then keep the 40 kilometers and then slam the brake and as you can feel it and as you can see that that I'm stopping very smooth traffic light change I start moving and before I start moving I have to make sure that no pedestrian and nobody is turning so the area is fully clear speed limit it's 40 look at that it start to flash and it shows me my speed so I'm going about 37 to 40 kilometer in between now we're approaching the sign most of the time people felt because they don't know what this uh, flashing light means that flashing light means is for the pedestrian when they're crossing and if it's flashing and somebody there you need to stop and wait until they are going to cross speed changing to 50 so the same road but as soon as I pass the school zone the speed is going to 50 right now I am keeping at the speed of 50 and as you can see I check intersections every intersection I approach I need to make sure that I'm checking look at that stop sign that stop sign represent all way that means that first come first go 
but on the top of that you can see the flashing red light that flashing red light it means that it's warning light it's not it's like a traffic light it's a warning light so you need to guys understand that sometimes you will see that and you're gonna stop there and wait until the light will change no you stop you treating as a always stop another stop sign it's always and I'm going to make a right turn over here so as soon as I approach and I stop the first thing look at that guys I'm not looking left and right after I stop I look left and right and now you will see in my videos how to make a turns easy hand over hand so right now I turn I don't see any speed what's the speed limit I will go remember guys when there is no speed posted you are going with the 50 kilometers yes it's a residential yes you cannot go as like you think that you can go faster than normal but 50 for me it's 50 I'm approaching the always stop as soon as I approach you look at me guys I'm not looking I concentrate on the stop I stop I check left and right I proceed always it's much easier than one way and when I'm gonna show you now on the busy intersection how to do properly the one way I'm gonna make a right turn I put the signal right and I'm gonna show you look at my hands guys you will see that in the video I'm gonna turn left is turning the right is supporting left come back and we turn a little bit more we're releasing the steering we don't need to turn back this sometimes what you have to do is look how much you're turning and how you just gonna make steering to come back without even turning. What stop did I approach now? It's all way. I stop first. Look at me, guys. I am stopping. And then after I fully stop, I check left and right and then I go. Remember, you don't need to look ahead of the time before you're stopping because what's gonna happen especially on the test you're looking no nothing is there you just move because you think that oh but the car was not fully stopped so i suggest you guys every time you approaching the stop sign like this always do not look from here left and right because first of all i need to make sure that i stop when i stop i check left and right and look at there is a car approaching but i don't look at that car because i know in this country people following the rules meaning that very rare you will find that somebody just will not stop and go you need to be careful and also you have to pay attention how this car approaching the intersection so you don't have to wait too long to resume your driving right now i'm keeping at the speed of 50 and as you can see i check intersections every intersection i approach i need to make sure that i'm checking look at that stop sign that stop sign represent all way that means that first come first go but on the top of that you can see the flashing red light that flashing red light it means that it's warning light it's not it's like a traffic light it's a warning light so you need to guys understand that sometimes you will see that and you're gonna stop there and wait until the light will change no you stop you're treating as a always stop another stop sign it's always and I'm going to make a right turn over here. So as soon as I approach and I stop, the first thing, look at that, guys. I'm not looking left and right. After I stop, I look left and right. Now, guys, I'm going to go straight through the busy intersection. And this intersection has a one-way stop. As you can see underneath, it doesn't telling me that there is always. So now there is a line before and i have to stop before the line but look at left and right would you be able to see from here if you can go safely some people what they do they stop and they stepping on the gas no you need to creep forward by creeping you looking left and right and when the area is clear you don't need to stop again 
you just going.